guys welcome back to my channel my name is savannah if you are new here and today we are taking a look at the brand new dream home decorator pack in the sims 4 i'm so excited i've played a little bit on twitch just with the build items but i haven't looked at any of the casts or done any of the gameplay so i thought we would do like a little speed run i guess we'll make a sim we'll build them a little tiny apartment and then we will uh go through the motions of getting them that like interior decorator job and we'll go on a couple jobs and just like see what the pack has to offer and how it works and hopefully i'll be able to like help you guys decide if you want to get it or not so yeah i'm really excited to get into it if this is the first video you've ever seen of mine hello my name is savannah i play the sims here on youtube as well as on twitch i have a ton of content on my channel from let's plays to speed builds to cast challenges anything you can think of it's probably there <laughs> i'm so happy to have you thank you for clicking on this video i actually don't have a celsius today you guys i have you guys have heard me talk about these millions of times but it's a red bull fusion i got cherry today it tastes a little bit like cough syrup but like it's 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 drinkable i'm enjoying it so cheers to you cheers to this video i'm so excited to play this pack with you let's get into it okay you guys here we are in cast i have already made our base sim we're gonna be playing with a male sim today which i never do i thought we would switch it up a little bit his name is lawrence robinson and we're gonna give him the interior i don't even know what the job is called because i haven't played this at all but the interior designer decorator job whatever the new career in the new pack uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the new pack it's a game pack so it's twenty dollars and it came out yesterday on june 1st there's no new aspiration and no new traits so i just gave him the perfectly pristine aspiration from the bust the dust kit this one is this sim likes their home to be presentable and clean all the time taking pride in their pristine homes these sims shoot for perfection and thrive when they have a spotless house to show off to guests i thought that was a uh, pretty fitting <laughs> his traits are neat creative and alluring alluring is a custom trait um basically they're just more successful at romance than others i don't know i just thought it would be a good trait for him um so this is his face i really like these glasses so i'm gonna keep them on but i want to show you guys a little bit of the cast uh not a little bit of the cast all of the cast i think <laughs> so let's have a look at the hairs so here's what we have this is our selection i am not that pleased uh i don't know i don't really like them but <laughs> i mean of course like the braided bun is sick but i'm talking like for males i had to take off the masculine um the masculine filter because the only two the only two hairs that popped up was this one and this one so let me go through so this we have like another like beaver style hair we have this like curly receding hairline one <laughs> we've got the braided bun with the baby hairs we've got this like kind of fabio looking hair this is in the female category but i think you could use it for anyone really this is the bun without baby hairs and then we have this like braided updo with uh bangs so i think for this sim i'm gonna go with this hair it's not my favorite hair but he kind of rocks it all right yeah good stuff i don't think we got anything else in this pack um maybe a hat let's see let me check no hats okay lovely love to see it okay so we got some jewelry we have these earrings here which like look like little paint swatches which <laughs> so cute right i love that so much i love it i love it i love it and then we have these like big brass like half hoops those are pretty cool yeah i don't mind those and then we have this layered necklace it's it's um everything in the sims is very like bulky and oversized i'm very used to um custom content jewelry because i do use a lot of cc but um i don't know i think it's still a good option to have either way uh and then for makeup let's see if we got anything in makeup no -de -do. nothing in makeup okay okay let's get busy dressing him now uh let's see what we got for clothes let's take off the masculine filter and just have a look at everything so we have this like jacket slash hoodie like layered thing we've got a flannel um oh i really like this swatch that's a nice one we've got a apron style this would really come in handy for the dine out pack because i'm always looking for new things to use for uniforms for my um, employees when i make restaurants and stuff so i have a feeling i'll be using that a lot 
Then we've got this like crop top button up with po poofy sleeves. We've got a um, like a off the shoulder crew neck. Um, I really like the, the pastel colors that everything seems to come in. It's really nice. Then we've got this button up. Um, I don't even know what you call this. Sleeveless. It's a sleeveless button up. <laughs> and then we've got, oh my God, this is so cute. I think I actually might use this on him. Um, yeah, that's really adorable. I have a feeling I'll use this a lot. This is definitely like my style and like, I don't know. I just love stuff like this. <laughs> then we have a uh, blouse with a looks like a blazer over top, which is cool. Um, interesting swatches for sure. Like these are very 90s, very 90s. <laughs> And then we've got this button up. It looks like a shacket. Like, you know, those shirt jacket things that were that have been popular. Oh, my God. Look at this swatch. What the heck? That's so cute. I want to use that on him as well. Um, and then we have an off the shoulder button up with a belt and we have a button up. Oh, my God. This is actually so cute. I love like the what is that word? Is it rouched? I don't know. It's just like bunched up looking. I really like this. That's cute. And it comes in like. Ooh, lovely sage colors. There's, oh my God, this is beautiful. Holy cannoli. Oh my God. It looks so good on him too. I think we might use this. <laughs> There's so many things I want to use on him. Holy crap. Okay, and this is locked um, until level seven of the interior decorator career. Okay, Sims, fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to go with this color because this is like one of my favorite colors. Let's see what we got for bottoms. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we have some ripped jeans. Oh, wait. Oh, that's so, 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 so nice. Look what this shirt does when you put the pants on. Oh, <gasps> chef's kiss y'all. That is so good. Oh, and these come in like fun colors too, which really does come in handy. We have these bell bottom jeans. Is this bell bottom? Is this boot cut? No, this is boot cut. I really, really love what they did with the shirt tucked in there. That's really cool. We've got a nice uh, belted skirt, looks like. We have a plaid skirt with a belt. We've got these, oh my gosh, I love these. Plaid pants that are like wide leg. Ooh, what? I'm actually wearing these pants right now, but they don't have the little dots. They're just like wide leg orange pants. <laughs> Very nice. Then we've got, it looks like some relaxed shorts. Oh, we got some clipping going on. Probably because those are female shorts. I've never seen clipping happen with uh, something that wasn't custom content. Interesting. Oh, and then we've got the pants in like a shorts version. We've got some other sh like long shorts in a plain, in plain swatches. And then we have some joggers. Cool. I actually really like the bottoms that came with this pack. I think, should we put them in the wide leg pants or the jeans or the, or these? Okay. I'm going to just do those for now. All right. Let's have a look at the shoes now. Uh, oops, not paranormal. What am I doing? <laughs> Dream home. Okay. So we got some boots. Those are some nice boots. I like them. Uh, let's see what we have for females. Some, uh, chunky heeled like sandals and some longer boots. Okay, all right. Well, I don't know what bottoms to put him in, you guys. I might just use some bottoms that aren't from the pack. Whoops. <laughs> just feel like it would look best with this outfit, you know? Okay, I'm gonna do those pants. All right, I'm gonna do the black boots from base game. Okay, one last thing. I want kind of want to put some earrings on him. Uh, maybe should we just do one hoop? Should we do this number? Should we do this? Ooh, ooh, maybe in gold to match his glasses frames. Or is that too matchy? I think I'm gonna go with these. I like the the little two in one action we got going on. Okay, so that is it for Cass. I think. Um, let me see if there's any accessories. Actually, I forgot to check that category. Um. Oh, long socks. Okay, yeah, we can just put the socks on him why not <laughs> um, look at this crazy cc oh my goodness <laughs> never fails oh i totally forgot to check full body oh <gasps> i'm an idiot big old idiot um oh my gosh 
Okay, here we go. Um, so we have a little dressy dress with a, a cute little cardigan over top. We have a um, polo underneath some, it's like an overall dress. I don't know if I'm feeling this. We have this one, which is super cute. It's like a turtleneck underneath a dress. I like the layering going on. It's very cute. Got some uh, solid swatches. Then we have this like plaid strappy dress and this jumpsuit from the trailer, which I think is pretty dope. Like, I love this. And then we have this dress, which I think is pretty. We have this, another jumpsuit. Another jumpsuit. Wait, is one of them for me for males and one of them for the female filter? Hold on. Oh no, they're both in they're both in feminine. Okay, interesting. What's the difference? So one of them has So one of them has like paint paint on it and the other one doesn't. I mean, I feel like they could have just like added more swatches <laughs> to one. I don't know. Okay, fair enough. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna mess with his likes and dislikes right now because I kind of like it when The Sims like gives you those little pop-ups and asks you, oh, your Sims having a good time. Do you wanna set this as a like or do you wanna set this as a dislike? I just kind of like my Sim to decide for me, at least that's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move our man into an apartment. Um, and get to looking at all the cast stuff. I already had a little look at everything because I was building my um, in real life apartment on Twitch and I was using some of the stuff. It's so nice, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna move him into this little square studio. I think this is perfect. Let's evict the mans that's living there now. <laughs> Let's do unfurnished and get to decorating. I just wanted like a little tiny apartment so that uh, we didn't spend too much time on building um, because I do want to get into some gameplay as well. I kind of want to like cover all of the all of the bases <gasps> for uh, for this pack so you guys can see everything. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Um, wow. Um, it's definitely not the nicest apartment I've ever seen but it'll do <laughs> i'm gonna bulldoze it okay yes this is uh this is definitely doable for sure for 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 sure okay so i don't think the pack came with any um any walls or floors oh it did come with with uh some wallpaper let me add a light in here so we can see what we're doing i know that this pack came with lighting as well like we have this like little square thing we have this bad boy we also have a couple um different hanging light options i like how everything um seems to be matching as well love this wall light too so cute so like this seems to be matching the the walls not like directly but um they go well together which is it's nice to see do we have any florin Give me, nope, no flooring in this pack. So I'm just gonna lay down some, uh, some good old eco lifestyle wood. <laughs> it's my favorite floor in the game by far. It's so good. Eco was another pack where I was just blown away by the, uh, by the cast items or not the cast items. I'm sorry, the build items. What am I saying? I don't know. I will do the light situation later. I think for now, I'm just gonna put some like recessed lighting in the ceiling so that we can see what we're doing. Okay, so since this is going to be a little studio, we don't really need any walls. We just need to figure out where we want to stick the kitchen and where we want to stick the bed. I think the kitchen will probably be best on this wall. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little like entryway here like this. Yeah, and then I'll just do, there'll be, there, we could put like a little table here and then we can just have the cabinets be along this wall right here. So the cabinets that came with this game are actually really, really nice. Like I will use them a lot. <laughs> uh, I usually use CC counters, but these are like so beautiful. Hold on one second, let me turn on move objects. I have a feeling this video is going to be a little bit long, but that's okay. All right, what swatch do we want to use? I kind of really love this like sage with the brown. 
The periwinkle blue is kind of cool too. Hmm. Ooh, love, 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 love. Oh my gosh, so nice. I see a lot of people using like the white and the brown swatches, so I want to use something different. Let's go with this one. I'm just going to line this wall with cabinets and then we can subtract as we go. Boom. Okay, let's get an island going. This is the other counter, by the way. It doesn't have drawers. It has like uh, a door on it instead. Okay, let's see. Let's see. This seems unnecessarily long, so I might <laughs> change it later. You know what we could do? And then, dun, dun, dun. We have like a breakfast nook, or this is where the dining table can be. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of one more and put the fridge right there. Uh, we did not get a fridge with this pack, which kind of sucks. Did we get bar stools? <gasps> we did! Yes, we got these cute, 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 cute little bar stools. I think I'll probably go with the sage to match. Ooh, the dark ones are nice too, though. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go with the sage. Because why not? Okay, I'm gonna change the walls too. I think I just want this wallpaper to be like an accent wall. So let me pick a fridge really quick here. Ooh, which fridge do we want to use? What fridge? What fridge is tickling our fancy? Should we do the country kitchen fridge, or is that, like, too country <laughs> for this modern apartment? I don't know. I love this fridge because it, like, fits in with the cabinets and doesn't leave that weird gap. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Hmm, I can't decide between these two fridges. I think I'm gonna go with the snowy escape one. It's a good fridge. Okay, so I decided to move the kitchen over this way and extend this wall a little bit, and we're gonna put the dining area right here. So this pack came with two two dining tables fantastic am i right just absolutely beautiful <laughs> uh, i think we're gonna go with this like surfboard looking one i think let me see if this comes in a matching swatch to the counters um kind of i think that's supposed to be the matching swatch i'm not really sure <laughs> um hmm yeah you know what i'm gonna go with that one i think and then we're gonna like flip it this way i was kind of hoping that there was gonna be a round table because i love a good round table but that's okay and then these are the three different dining chair options that we have i find them very nice like i love them they're so basic which i think this this game needs more basic stuff so i very much appreciate it very much appreciate the the basicness i don't know should we do orange chairs <laughs> i don't know um i don't know which swatch of chair to use this is kind of hard maybe I, is that too matchy matchy i feel like I'm, everything i'm putting down is that color uh it's nice that they match definitely but i don't want them to match too much you know yeah the orange is way too much i think i'm gonna go with these Okay, is that gonna be enough space for him to get into the kitchen? Doesn't look like it, so maybe, I don't know. Hopefully he can squeeze through here, or maybe we should like scoot this back as much as possible. So another thing that we got with this pack that I think is really, really dope, uh, we got these like cute little, um, cute little toaster oven deals they're not little actually they're they're quite bulbous <laughs> but i like i like that we have them we also have these in-counter stoves which it's pretty freaking dope don't you think and it matches with these cabinets or yeah the counters very well it blends in very nicely we also have another version of it right here which i think i might like better i can do i like it better i think i might like it better so let's do this one instead. Yeah, buddy. We also have a countertop oven or a countertop like stove situation, which that is so, so, so nice to have. We have a couple of different options. I don't know. That's just so, so, so dope. I have a bunch of like CC versions of this, but it's just nice to have actually in the game, you know, because sometimes I want to do like a CC free build or whatever. So we also have two different versions of the, the tabletop uh, oven thing. Um, so yeah, that's another 
dope 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 addition let me add a trash can for our boy uh la 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 which trash can do i want to use it really shouldn't take me this long to choose a trash can <laughs> let's just do the one from snowy escape yeah let's do that color it's it's looking a little drab maybe we should change the swatch Let's try this, like, see what we can do with this periwinkle blue. See how uh, that looks. I don't even know if you call this periwinkle blue. It kind of reminds me of a dark periwinkle. Yeah, I feel like this is more his style. <gasps> oh no, now I can't decide on a fridge. I think I like this one. All right, let's put in the matching cabinets. Oh, I actually can't put, put because the window's right there. Dang. Well, that's an issue. Okay, so I was able to inset the refrigerator into this like cabinet thing. I'm hoping that the fridge still works like that. <laughs> uh, and I had to switch around the uh, layout of the kitchen again because <sighs> because of this stupid window right here. And I just realized we need one of those um, oven or like stove top thingies because our our oven is in the cabinet and doesn't have one okay all right now we need one of those like range hoods or whatever they're called i'm spending a lot of time on this kitchen you guys <laughs> i guess to me it's the most important part should we do one of these like huge industrial ones that i can never use because my ceilings are never tall enough <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that looks. I guess it kind of looks normal. Like that with the cabinet still there. I don't know. I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just do it. Looks, uh, it looks, looks unique. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have as far as like little, uh, center of the table decorations. Ooh, these like file or like storage things are really cool. Oh no, a mouse hole. Oops, let's just cover that up with some storage, shall we? <laughs> uh, oh, you know, it actually would look really nice. It would just ran like completely under this window like that. Okay, yeah. All right, let's see what plants we got as well. Oh yes, this wheat plant or whatever you want to call it. This thing is so beautiful like look at the texture on this it almost looks like custom content but i don't i think it's just like the right amount of detail um to where it still looks it still has that animated look but it's just really nice i don't know how to explain it i've been so impressed with their their plants lately like the one from the courtyard oasis kit is Holy cannoli. I'm gonna have to show you guys which one I'm talking about because it's insane. It's so nice uh, Where are my kids? This one. Oh like look at this freaking plant right now. What the heck I saw it for the first time the other day and I was like that is beautiful. Look at the look at the The just look at the leaves. Oh my god. It's just so nice I really want to use it in this build actually so I might have to if we have the room, <laughs> kind of want to stick it in this corner to like hide that electronic thing on the wall, that eyesore that we have. I don't think I've ever built in this apartment before. These pipes are interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, um, dream home decorator. Oh my God, I forgot how many beds we got with this pack. It's kind of ridiculous, but I'm so stoked. So we have a couple single bed options. <gasps> Ouch, excuse me not a couple a bunch a bunch of single bed options that come in like this bed comes in a lot of fun swatches like a lot of colors um these ones over here are definitely more muted which i can appreciate <laughs> uh really 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 love this bedspread i think that's so cute and i love all the different headboard options too really nice I'm just like all around impressed with the build stuff from this pack. It's just, it's just really good. So between these two beds, I feel like this one is more him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with this. Okay, and then the closet situation that we have for this pack is so crazy. There are so many of these like little 
what would you even call these like closet like systems you can make your own closet system like this isn't even the half of it you guys i don't even know where all that stuff is but oh yeah we got all these cool mirrors too um what else oh yeah the cute little nightstands he definitely needs a nightstand oh, i love this one it's adorable we have this one too which has like these awesome lips on it and we've got this one which um can be used as part of a part of the closet system as well there's this one i think we're gonna go with the round one and i'm gonna like put it right here next to the pipes oh i do want to show you guys the pictures that we got with this because oh my god they're gorgeous like yo okay look at the swatches for this right now They are so cute. And here's the swatches for this one. Oh. Oh. I think I want to use, um, I want to use this one somewhere in this house. Maybe we can do this one above the bed. I mean, it kind of fits nicely. And then let's, let's have a look at the rugs as well while we are doing the bedroom stuff. So we have this like medium sized, uh, I don't even know what kind of rug you would call this, but <laughs> I do like it. We've got an, uh, a bigger, a little bit bigger one. Um, and then we have this one. Looks like this one's locked. Level five of the interior decorator career. Okay. Okay. So I don't know what I want to put on here, but let's, uh, let's get started on the living room. Um, so I think the TV will go actually, hmm. Yeah. The couch should go here to give the room some more separation. As you can tell, I've been watching a lot of dream home decorator. So I know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Another addition to this pack, which I think is huge. We not only got a nice basic sofa, but we also got sectionals, which is huge. I know so many people have been wanting this. And the cool thing about it is that you can customize your sofas because each piece comes separate. So you have two different styles. There's this, the tufted one and this like grid one and it works just like a countertop so you go to the piece that you want you click on the swatches and then boom you have all of these pieces to choose from i like you could that's just so cool like you can take this corner piece and just shove it in the corner if you just did this one piece right here you can have like a little corner seat i don't know it's just there's just the i feel like the options are limitless i think for him we're going to be doing a curved sofa so let me get my curved pieces out um let's see how would i do this ah here we go yeah look at that you can make like a full-blown oh you can make like a circle you can make a freaking circle couch what the heck that's just so fun. Like, I know that the Sims can't access this, but like, <laughs> you can put like a giant like plant in the middle. I don't know. Like the, the it's just like, I don't know. Just really cool. I love the being able to have that freedom to do that funky stuff if you want to, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's, that's another big part of this pack um i said i wanted to do circle couch but i didn't really like the way that it looked oh my gosh you could put a chase on both ends interesting okay let me get the chase piece that has a arm okay that's pretty dope all right let's see what we got as far as coffee tables and things go so we have this like pod looking one which i like we have the square we have like more closet um like organization situation a lot of this stuff like clicks together when you put it together so i think that's pretty cool um ooh, ooh, does this match the counters Ooh, it kind of does i think i'm gonna go with that i wonder how this will look uh aged up i always say aged up when i'm referring to items <laughs> I do want to use this somewhere. I just don't know where. I think I'm liking this one better. So let's do that. 
Na 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 na. Whoa, we can like make this go all the way to the door if we wanted to. Talk about storage, am I right? Oh my gosh, yes, they come like flipped around too. So there's the left side and the right side. Oh my God, that is that is so nice. What the heck? Love. Oh, I wish I could put the TV in the middle, but I can't. Maybe we'll do a wall TV instead. There's this wall art, which I'm obsessed with. Do you want to use that somewhere? There's like loose shoes that you can just place wherever, not on a shoe rack. I freaking love that so much. There's this little llama little decoration there's a bunch of storage box like decor i just look at all these storage boxes you guys there's this like stack of magazines oh my god i'm obsessed it's locked but level two of the interior designer decorate interior designer career oh my god i cannot speak hmm <clears throat> let's put one of these cool decorations there there's like this bowl i kind of want to should we put this on the dining table i just realized this man doesn't have a bathroom well that's awkward what am i gonna do now why do i always forget the bathroom we might have to get rid of the dining table and just this be the dining area which sucks unless unless we can fit it no i guess we could fit it there I do this every time. I get so ahead of myself in decorating everything else that I forget that we need a bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I don't even know if um, this pack came with any bathroom stuff, but I guess we'll find out. Yes, the bathroom is going to be right by the kitchen. I know. I know. It's the best design ever. Oh, yeah. We got a couple uh, cute doors, too. Gosh, I love this door so much. <gasps> so cute i'm gonna go with the plain swatch though because i'm boring any dream home decorator toilets no no shower no toilet uh we got a new sink a couple new sinks very cute they just like slot into the wall like this and if you don't want them in the wall they have this like nice this nice pole thing that holds it up i am gonna go with this sink right here but i'm gonna move it over here boom sink um oh yeah we got a couple new bathtubs as well this one and this one that has little legs i think i'm gonna go with this one and i'm gonna put the toilets right there kind of feeling this tile but then i'll need to change the swatch of this photo to yeah let's do that cute i love it okay so um he needs storage but it would be nice to have a dining table. So how am I gonna do this? Okay, I like it. I like it. Cause this is like kind of like closed off into his own bedroom situation here. I'm gonna stick this light over here in the corner. Okay, I think that we have pretty much covered it. Uh, maybe I should make this lower and kind of make it like a, a little table as well. Sorry guys, I'm so into this building that my camera keeps cutting out. <laughs> it like stops recording and I don't realize it, so I apologize. Um, oh my gosh, wait, we can put his shoes in here. Okay, I think that's that. That's gonna be it for the build. I really would like to build more, but I kind of want to like get into the career a little bit too. So let me add, let me just add this. Cute little hanging lights. And then here we'll do... Dang, I wish they came in different lengths. Because the ceiling is so high. All right, there we go. I hope that you enjoy your new apartment, sir. So let's go ahead. He's a little hungry, so I'm going to get him to come up here and make... What you want? What you want? What you, what you want? <laughs> Let's have some onigiri. Sure, why not? He's fine from sparkling clean surroundings. What? What happened? <gasps> he can't use a refrigerator because it's inset in that, that cabinet thing. Dang it. My big brain move failed me this time around. Oh, well. 
it is what it is so i think we're gonna have time to maybe do one one little um one little gig just to see what this whole thing's about. So from what I've seen from the trailer, basically what happens is someone invites you over to their house and they tell you exactly what they want done to their home. And then they tell you that their likes and dislikes, like colors, activities, all those things. And um, yeah, you kind of have to like go into build mode while you're there and redo the space that they want redone, which is really, really cool. I'm so excited to give it a shot. Let's, uh, let's do a proper tour of this apartment, by the way, to see all of these beautiful items in action. <laughs> so you walk in, he's got his little clothing items here. Um, we've got the living room. I probably chose the wrong apartment for this because that mice hole isn't very attractive, but whatever, adds character. Just like the whole overview of this apartment is actually super nice. The items are just beautiful, so they speak for themselves, but like, shade. <laughs> I love these pipes too. Like, I'm pretty sure those are in debug. I would love to use those for decorating. And that plant, oh my god. Oh, we forgot curtains. That's probably important. Where did he go? Oh, he went straight to the bathroom after eating that onigiri. Very cute bathroom as well. Love, love, love. Um. Aw, look at him sitting on his bed watching TV. Love that for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get you to find a job, sir. I am thrilled that it's not a freelance thing. <clears throat> While he does that, I'm gonna add some curtains cause I would really like to see them in action too. All right, there we go. Curtains added. When I think when the curtain bar is higher than the window, it gives the illusion that the apartment is bigger than it seems. So I just gave that a try. Okay, interior decorator, here we go. Being an interior decorator is about two things. Having a good eye for design, building relationships with clients. Having people skills and some artistic vision will lead to a bright future and possible recognition. You may start small with some simple home renovations, but eventually uh, with enough hard work, bigger clients and buildings could get you the recognition you deserve. Very cool. Okay, so the starting position is interior color, color consultant. Median pay gig is 600. All right, let's do it. So what do we need to do? You can use the career panel to search for clients looking for spaces to be redecorated. All right, well, let's select a gig then. So it's kind of like the um, actor and actress career. Um, so we have, why are they all grayed out? Uh, okay, so we're just not high enough level yet. Fair enough. So we have a room renovation for the Villa Reals, or we have a room renovation for the Potter family, or we have, oof, I'm kind of curious about the Potter family. I'm wondering if that's like one of my Sims from my 100 baby. You know what, let's give this one a shot. I'm, I'm excited. A new memory card has been added to Lawrence's inventory. Use it to manage the photos that were taken during the interior decorator oh. gig. We have to take photos? Oh, wow, yeah, uh, look at all that. Yeah, right. Visit the lot, get to know the client, take before photos, enter build mode and make renovations, take after photos and reveal newly decorated space to the client. That is so cool. What are you watching, by the way? Lost Dog's Journey Home. Oh my gosh, you probably shouldn't watch that. You have work in uh, five hours. I just need you to be happy. Let's get you to go to sleep for a little bit so you're nice and rested. Let's do, let's get some auto lights going. I love this apartment so much. I would totally live here. It's cute. <laughs> TV season premiere? Oh no. Have you been to Black Spire Outpost yet? Nope, not interested in Batu. sorry. Oh my God, wait, it's 9 a.m. What are you, get up. Um, Visit client's lot? How, how do I do this? How do I visit the client's lot? What the heck? Hold up, wait. Thursday at 9 a.m. How? Where is the client's lot? How am I supposed to know where to go? There's nothing in the client box. Do I have to find the lot myself? That just seems kind of ridiculous. Is it a glitch, perhaps? Okay, here we go. Potter. I'm guessing this is it. Okay, I'm here. Hello. Uh, so this is Aiden from My 100 Baby. Let's give him a, a friendly introduction. Um, I'm hoping that this is the correct household. Okay, um, let's knock on the- Okay, yes, okay, the little swatches are next to it, so that's good. Knock, knock, I'm here! Hello! Hello, 
hello, hello. Oh, um, it's good to see you guys. Yes, this house, it needs some work. It definitely needs work. Let's put you in your interior designer outfit, okay? Okay, there you go. So let's go ahead. Oh, he's practicing his flirting in the mirror. Why? He just met us and he's already practicing his flirting. Dag, dag. Dag, dag. Um, Adeline? Hello. Um, ask about day. Okay, so we're at the lot. And it didn't like say that. It didn't like check it off for us, which is kind of concerning. I'm hoping I'm at the right lot. I, I have to be. Ask about Jason decor. Dislikes patio decor. Okay, okay, this isn't working. So I'm gonna cancel this gig and find another one. The clients are shocked. They are incredibly saddened, even at loss for words upon your receiving your resignation. Well, you know what? Maybe if this wasn't broken, then I wouldn't have had to done that. Do that. <laughs> All right, let's find another gig. So the Villa Reals are all we have left. Okay, 9 a.m. on Friday. All right. He matches his house, like he's wearing the same swatch. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I gotta pop up. Lawrence has a decorator gig in one hour. Get to the client's lot on time to chat with them about what they're looking for before starting. Okay, I think that this uh, client thing not showing up is a definitely a, um, a glitch, but I do know it's the Villarreal's, so let's... Let's go over there and see if this this will work this time around if not i don't even know what to say <laughs> i don't even know what to say okay here they are let's go all right we're here hello oh um let's go to okay so we got a pop-up this time around let's go to work Okay, it worked this time. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right, it's working. Take before and after photos to document your work as an interior decorator is important. Learn how to take control and get that perfect shot in the taking photos lesson under dream. What? View? What? There's lessons? What the heck? I didn't even know that this existed. Taking the perfect decorator picture. During an interior decorator career gig, Sims can take photos to document. Um, taking photos is a little different when your sim is on the job. You can click on the ground where you want to take the picture. Oh, that's so funny. Look, there's also a tutorial for modular shelving. Like, look at that. Look at the, the freaking options that you can have with the closet. It's kind of crazy. All right, cool. We did the tutorial. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Um, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to Jacques. Um, what did that say? Send client away. No, I want to get to know you a little bit. Oh, maybe we should ask her. Oh my gosh, he whipped out a little tablet. Hi, what's up? Good to see ya. Introduce yourself. Ooh, an, a respectful introduction. Okay, uh, ask to see inspirations. See what you got for me. Oh my God, look. There's a little, oh, he's just scribbling on a kitchen. Love to see it. Yeah, uh, why are you just standing there in your towel? Stop changing your outfit! It's awkward. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't ask her about her preferences. Discuss designs. Okay, here we go. Uh? Uh? Oh, look at the paint swatches! Oh my gosh. The lighting in this house is so bad. Why are you embarrassed? Privacy invaded. What? First impressions are so oh my god. Yo, I'm just trying to do this. That's all. Who do I talk to? Does anyone care? Okay, he's feeling inspired now, but it's not. I've been talking to her about designs for a while now and uh, nothing is really happening. So I don't even know which room to do. It doesn't say. Does that mean we can just do whatever room we want? If so, I think I'm gonna do this bedroom. Oh, Lauren seems to be enjoying framing the perfect shot. Should he gain the likes photography preference? Yes, why not? Absolutely. Okay, let's go over here, take some more photos. All right, we have taken the before photos, and now what? Enter build mode and make the renovations. Okay, find out the client's preferences, then send the client away. Okay, uh, send client away. Are you sure you wanna send the client away? You won't be able to discover any more of their likes or dislikes. I tried. 
Oh my god, there's a fire? Are you freaking kidding me right now? I'm just trying to do my job. I am not responsible for putting out your fires. Why is there always a fire on this lot? I feel like every time I come to see the Villarreal's, there's some kind of fire going on. Holy crap. Okay, well, let's go into build mode. Let's redo this bedroom. Apparently you can't add walls to a renovation gig. So uh, that's something to think about as well. <laughs> Okay, I think this room is a lot cuter than it was. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go back into li live, live, whatever, live mode, live mode. Oh my gosh, she's so miserable. Filthy surroundings from the fire. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Okay, all right. So let's go over here, take after photos. I think that's what we need to do next, right? Okay. Okay, I'm so confused. How do you do this? Click on the decorator sim, use the phone or use the relationship panel to call the clients back. They're already back. Call clients to lie, okay. Select photos for the reveal. Choose one before and wait, choose one before photo for each after photo. Got it, got it. Do you wanna personally show off the renovated space to your clients? Sure, why not? The reveal. Okay, it's a little, uh, it's a, uh, it's an event. Okay, how do I, this is very confusing. Reveal renovations. Look at how nervous she is. Hello. Luna is still looking around. Once ready, an indicator will appear. Okay. Oh, oh, she's going in the room. They don't care. They do not care. Okay, she likes... Oh God, I don't think she likes anything. We just had to guess. Oh no! Okay. Reading the room, getting the feeling the job might not be the client's satisfaction. Thank for opportunity. <gasps> Zero dollars and a negative professional reputation. Lawrence put some effort into the decorating the space, but the client didn't seem too impressed. Was it lack of vision, artistry, special awareness? Maybe another gig will help make this right. <gasps> oh no, that is so embarrassing. Well, to be fair, I tried my hardest to figure out what they liked and what they didn't like, but it wasn't giving me the option to ask them. So, yikes, dude, big yikes. Let's go ahead and try one more. Um, I'm gonna try and get, the, uh, hopefully the glitch isn't present again and I can actually ask them what they like and what they don't like. Fingers crossed it works this time. I'm going to party house, party house, all right. And it's like, what sim do you ask for preferences as well? Like likes and dislikes, if there's more than one sim in the house and it doesn't even tell you which room it needs to rent, you need to renovate, it just says room renovation. Okay, so we can discuss designs. We can see Simtress board, which I think is freaking hilarious, but I can't ask her what her likes and dislikes are, which is like the main thing about this. Oh, ask about taste and decor. Okay, let's try that. Um, She likes garden decor, okay. Okay, what else do you like? I've never been in this house before. Whoa, this is... This is pretty colorful. I actually kind of like it. It's interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh, it totally is a party house. Dislikes the color gray. Okay, that's not what I asked though. I asked you what your favorite color was, what you didn't, not what you didn't like. My game is glitching so bad. I'm getting these like likes and dislikes pop-ups for Sims that aren't even in my family. They're not even in this household that I'm like doing the renovation for. 
Very weird. Very, very weird. And I told them to go away for the renovation, but they're just like sticking around. All right, so she likes garden decor and she dislikes the color gray. Okay, well, I'm gonna do the bathroom this time around. Sorry, I just slapped my mic. Um, I'm not gonna use gray and I'm gonna use garden decor. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. She does not like gray and there's a lot of gray in this bathroom garden decor so i'm gonna give her a garden themed bathroom let's see if she likes it shall we <laughs> actually hold on is there like a garden um a garden filter oh <gasps> there is okay well that makes things a lot easier okay this is everything with a garden filter okay cool okay all right so definitely want to use that Let's do that. Not gonna use anything gray. Maybe we can put like a little chair in here. One of the one of these beautiful plants that I used earlier. <laughs> okay, that should be enough items. I'm thinking that it doesn't even have to look good. You just gotta like figure out what they like, what colors they like, and what styles they like, and just load up the room with that stuff. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. All right. Let's see how she feels about it. Let's see how she feels. Oh crap, I forgot to take before photos. Whoops. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I wonder if it if it registers what the before photos even look like cuz I forgot to take them. What photos are these? What is even going on right now? Who are they? Okay, I love how they stand here all nervous. It is really cute. So you gotta click on them and click reveal renovations and then everyone walks in. Oh my God, they're covering their eyes. How cute. Dag -dag, for me. What is this? It didn't do that last time. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I wish I had proper before and afters. Oh my God, that's adorable. I love that little touch. Okay. Like, you guys need to check this out. Come check out this room. Okay? Check out the garden pieces. Okay, okay. It looks like she likes it. Oh, they're arguing. Oh, God, she doesn't like it. There's literally no gray in here. What's wrong? Oh no, she's furious. <gasps> I'm ready to wrap this up. Oh, she's chewing us out. Um. Uggles? He said our stuff is uggles. Oh my gosh, she's chewing us out again. This was a lot to take in. I'm ready to talk about the changes. Okay, okay. Tanoba. Uh, Uggles. Uggles? Yo, what is happening right now? What is this? Uh, no He's not even on this lot right now. Oh my god. Whoa, someone's in the closet. This was a whole mess, you guys. I can't get to you because you're in the closet, so um not really sure what to do about this situation so we're just gonna oh my god you guys this is actually the most confusing thing i've ever done what the heck first of all you don't know what sim to ask about their preferences i did everything that she asked for she liked garden decor and she didn't like gray and i didn't i used garden decor and i did not use gray and i still didn't get any money also which sim like which sim do you ask which room do you do because when it says room renovation it doesn't specify <sighs> and what else what else am i confused about a lot of things i don't know i think i just do i have to play it more if i did play it more like what would i do differently <gasps> oh god he's just going through it right now he does not like thunderstorms he had a bad day at work there's mice in his apartment he's just gonna crawl into his bath 
and sleep it off and i don't blame him well you guys that's gonna be the end of this video i hope that you enjoyed it um and i also hope that i was able to help you decide if you wanted to get this pack or not okay so i'm gonna rate every aspect okay build mode build items 10 out of 10 i don't think that there's an item from this pack that i disliked which is kind of huge Cass, i'll give it like a 5 out of 10 probably because i am just so used to using cc and um a lot of the the clothing styles that came with this pack doesn't seem like anything that i would ever use but there are those like few items that i definitely would and then gameplay i'm not that experienced and but the gameplay that i did do i don't know it's a little weird i feel bad giving it such a low rating but i'm gonna give it like a three out of ten for now first impressions that's like what i've got i don't know it's probably just glitches that need to be worked out please let me know in the comments if you've played this pack and if you are equally as confused about the career as i am or if there's like something that i just wasn't getting that i wasn't doing yeah let me know in the comments and i'm sure other people would want to know as well but yeah thank you so much for watching if you are new here my name is savannah again and it would mean the world to me if you would um subscribe and join the simsav family and i hope to see you in my next video i love you and i will see you in the next one. Bye!